How do I float and why do I sink? It's a question commonly asked by beginners learning how to swim. Let's get one thing clear first of all. Floating while stationary in one place and staying afloat while swimming are two completely different concepts. Your ability to float is all down to your relative density. What does that mean? Take this example. A log floats and a rock sinks. The log floats because its density is low relative to the density of the water. But the rock sinks because its density is high relative to the density of the water. How does this relate to the human body? Let's say the log is fat and the rock is muscle. Okay, so there's more to the human body than fat and muscle. There's bones and organs and blood and stuff like that. And they all contribute to your overall density. To keep this simple, let's stick to fat and muscle. People with a higher fat content will tend to naturally float and lean, muscular people will tend to naturally sink. If you naturally sink, it does not mean you cannot swim. Let's go back to our naturally sinking rock. It has a slightly streamlined shape, so if it's propelled across the water surface, it will remain at the water surface for a short time before it sinks. Create a streamlined shape as you propel yourself through the water, Add some basic swimming technique and you'll remain at the water surface as you swim. Click the link to discover some easy exercises that will help keep you afloat as you swim. For more help and support with learning how to swim, come on over to swimteach.com.